I guess it's still me. Oh yeah. No, but uh, for we're, disappointing we're, team to me, there's no, really only oh, one. Yeah. Team. yeah. Disappointing team, right? Yeah. It, yeah. We're it's, your, disappointing it's, your, team. it's your call, Ethan. Yeah. It's got to be or... Jaguars. Like oh, they God, were just, yeah. I, I get San Francisco is getting healthier. They got chase young, whatever, but you're still six and two. You've been playing fantastic the last like four weeks. And then you just go lay a dud. Trevor Lawrence looked like he's never played football before. ETN only eight carries, nine carries. What I I get it was a blowout, but even then, like still get he's him been the their ball. offense. He's been their he, offense. He's this literally year. their offense. Like you gotta get the ball. Calvin Ridley, how many uh he only had two targets, three targets. Like the dude's your number one. You gotta get him the ball. Like, no offense to Doug Peterson, great coach. Awful game plan from him this week. And to do it off a of bye. Yeah. Yeah. Off a of bye. Like when he works with Andy Reid, you should be great coming off the bye. Mm-hmm. Dearness um, Johnson had as many targets as Calvin Ridley. Whoever the hell Dearness Johnson is, I have no idea. I'm not going to lie. That name doesn't even sound familiar. It's no. one of those where you're like, who, <laughs> who is this guy? Oh, yeah, yeah, he played here, there, and there. It's like this yep. dude, I'm like, who? Who the hell is this he's guy? A Texas guy. That's, I feel like he's Texas. Well, it's a name like Dearness. He's definitely from the South. Oh, nope, South Florida. Okay. Close enough. Florida close, man. Close enough. Yeah, Flor- Florida man. He's danced with an alligator or two in his life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the – there was a – we, my dad and I, we went to the NDSU game this weekend, and uh, there was a guy uh, for the Bison. He's a I, – I don't even know the year, but uh, his name is uh, – I think it's Jaquise Alexander. And, of course, he looks – I, I look him up on the roster. He's from Florida. My dad, I, I look over to my dad and go, yeah, his name's Jaquise and he's from Florida. He's a ball player, dad. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, you can't get around that. Nope. Um, my turn. Yeah. Cause I'm number yeah, two here. Yeah. My disappointing yeah. team. Uh, Ethan talked about the winning team from this game. I'm going to go with the losing team. And that was the Cincinnati Bengals. Like Ethan said, they're getting their stuff together. Um, they won. What do they win? Three in a row, four in a row coming into Sunday. That you beat the Niners. You go on your bye. You come back. You beat the Bills at home. This is the same Joe Burrow team. It's like, hey, they're a lock for the AFC Championship game. Um, you know, life is good. They just beat Buffalo, and then on Sunday you lay that egg. You give up thirty points at home to the Texans. And like Ethan said, I get it. CJ's playing at an MVP level, but. With the defense Cincinnati has, without a true number one, and you let you let them go up and down the field, and you know Cincinnati's offensive line, I've been critical about them all year. They gave up four sacks on Sunday, three of them to one player. Only sixty-six defense, rushing yards, too. Sixty-six rushing yards and three sacks to Sheldon Rankins. Like you give Deep up three. Tackle. A defensive tackle gets three sack. A defensive tackle gets three sacks in the game. You're going to lose that game, and you weren't playing Aaron Donald in the Super Bowl. This is is Sheldon Rankin's a failed first round pick here. Come on now. (laughs) Um, And, you know, their defense, hey, you get three turnovers. That's great. Well, Joe Burrow gave it to Houston twice. You're you're only plus one in the turnover battle. And then Joe Mixon only had 13 touches all day. Um, You look at Cincinnati last year when they were rolling, it was a combination of P. Ryan and Mixon. So I think the Bengals, they got to, especially with these receivers being hurt, I feel like you got to get Mixon the ball more. And they just they just didn't do that. And maybe they were looking ahead to Baltimore on the short week this week. But to, from to be here and then, you know, drop three or four steps and have to play four days later against a division opponent that just lost. Not a good look in Cincinnati. And I'm, I'm upset with them. Disappointed for sure. Well, you said it, Grant. You talked about Joe, Joe Mixon kind of being the keys to that offense. And when they do run the ball, they are just they are such a. They are such a better team, but then Zach Taylor gets in his funks where he mm-hmm. just forgets, oh, I have one of the best running backs in the NFL. I, why would I want to use him? But And then one more thing. I forgot to say this in my notes. If Cincinnati wants to win, I feel like Joe Mixon needs 18 to 22 touches a game. I'm not saying rushing I, attempts, but 18 to 22 times that man touches the ball, good things are going to happen in Cincinnati. Yeah, absolutely. And – for my my disappointing team, because you guys actually took both the Jaguars and the Bengals, Boom. and I kind of just had this one in my back pocket because I wasn't didn't really think I thought I would get one of those two, but 
I didn't. I'm going to go with the New York Jets. Zach Wilson is not it. We can stop talking like he like he's going to be some stopgap quarterback. No. And even and, and there's talk about Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers saying himself that he wants to be back by mid December. If you're the New York Jets, you have to watch what's going on out on the field. And that offensive line can not protect anybody. And if you put Aaron Rodgers out there with already a bad Achilles, you're just asking to get her, for him to get hurt again. Just mm-hmm. cut your losses, move on. I don't I don't I don't know if Robert Salah is a good head coach. I don't think the defense is overly great is and talked about the way they the way they are. I think they might be good for your fantasy football, but it seems like situationally they're not. They can't get off the field on third down. Um, they got a couple of nice pieces, but you know, a lot of missed tackles on, on Sunday night. Um, you know, sauce Gardner doesn't look like what he was as a rookie. Uh, the pass rush can't get home. Um, you know, there, there, there's a lot of questions for New York. Um, and they're better off just cutting their losses, making sure they shore up that offensive line. So Aaron Rodgers can come back, um, come back to start 2024 healthy and a hundred percent. Well, and even even the Jets, like the misses they've had this offseason, guys. I I understand you could say, well, if Rodgers was playing, Alan Lazard would be a better player. Randall Cobb was out on Sunday. We all knew he was going to get hurt and was only going to play 10 games this year. Dalvin I kind of forgot been... Randall Cobb was on the team, actually. Yeah, like, Randall, hey, yeah, yeah. You don't CJ, hear anything about him at all. No, CJ, uh, was it Usma, 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 Usman? They signed last year from Uzama, Cincinnati. Who Uzama can't block Uzuma. anybody. The cost, only two had two holding calls that cost him touchdowns. The only time he's played this year was when Zach Wilson went BYU mode when he saw Donna Kelsey in the suite against the Chiefs and, and was like, "Hey, there's a mom in the building. I'm going to go off." Uh, but besides that, <laughs> it, his, his last highlight is from Cincinnati in that Super Bowl. Um, like I said, Lazard, Ethan was on this. The, the advanced metrics for Delvin Cook. Oh, just terrible. Terrible. So shout out to Ethan for nailing that one right there. And again, you draft Will McDonald. He hasn't seen the field because, oh, is it Franklin Myers? Jonathan Franklin Myers? That sound, sounds right. He's a better pass rusher than him. So you waste a first-round pick on a, on, on a position you didn't even need. But they go, Joe Douglas goes, yeah, with Aaron Rodgers, we feel like we're going we're gonna to have the lead a lot, and we're going to be able to rush the passer. Well, when you can't protect your quarterback, people aren't – you don't get that opportunity. So – Sorry to hijack your post, your thing here, Dylan. Oh, no, you're good. You you, you Jets, added to that. The Jets are just a dysfunctional organization from head head down. And At- we're, we're seeing it. And to your point, I don't think Robert Sala is a head coach. I think he's a good defensive coordinator and a motivator, but he's not a head coach. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and I, I, I called this back during uh, when Hard Knocks was going on about Will McDonald. I, saw, I said, once the guy pierced his eyebrow, I'm out. I'm I'm done with him. There shouldn't <laughs> did, no grown man should ever be piercing his eyebrows. That's actually I don't I think I think of all of of mul- of piercings on the body, I think eyebrow and lip though, and 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 like the middle part of your nose. If you have any of those three, I'm out on you. You're done. You do not. You shouldn't be allowed to function in society. You don't want to date a bull. No, I don't. I'm gonna put you a padlock you know around there and lock that. <laughs> yeah. You, what you know what that reminds me of is when chicks have like their uh, what, what's it called septum I think is that what it is the middle yeah, of the bridge and you know like that I yeah. have no idea it it reminds me of when I was out on the farm branding and you know to make sure the uh, the calf doesn't like pull away is we put one in put it put like a little clip thing in their nose and you pull so that way when they're getting branded they aren't jerking all over the place it kind of holds <laughs> them steady. That, that, that's what I think of is when, when you get like the, your septum pierced in your nose is you're just a calf being branded. That's I think fair. you're also just a crazy, a crazy person who uh, does no good for society and it, you have some sort of flaw in your life. And you need people to look at you like, accept me for who I am. Love me because I don't love myself. Clearly, <laughs> clearly they have daddy issues and their parents didn't love them enough. That is correct. <laughs> 